Fifty years ago, Carol Shelby bought this car to the New York Auto Show. Not quite the performance car that we saw today. Today, how about 100? How about 200? How about 1,000 horsepower? Carol Shelby's handprint is all over this car. Understated in styling, but the power lives underneath the hood. There's two models that we will introduce. The street version, Shelby 1,000, 950 horsepower. 50 state emission legal, tuned on 91 octane fuel. And then there's the Shelby 1000 SC, off-road track version, over 1100 horsepower, fire-breathing performance. This car is the car that Carol has dreamed about his entire life. Shelby 1000 is the vehicle and is the most powerful vehicle to ever wear, the Shelby badge. So guys, shall we let you see it? Are you ready? Shelby American, Carol Shelby. The Carol Shelby Foundation and Carol Shelby Licensing would like to introduce to you Shelby 1000. If you look at this car, it looks very understated. We've done cars that are over the top crazy. We've also done cars that are, you know, very understated. This one is. And if you look at it, there's little styling cues that you might not just instantly pick up. Like, this hood, okay, looks like a stock GT500 hood for 2012. Well, it's really about an inch and a half higher, okay? So, there's little things like that, but then the meat and potatoes of this car is obviously, uh, you know, suspension and handling. We're gonna get into that in a minute. So, let's get up to the hood real quick, because that's what you guys wanna see, right? Sam, if you'd uh, help us out there. Okay, engineering guys, you're gonna like this one. 5.4 liters, so we take a 2012 GT500, 5.4 liters, all aluminum block, 32 valves, double rim cam, Penny Bell 3.6 liter supercharger. We take this car, we don't just put parts on it, we drop the engine right out the bottom, just like they do at the factory, the engine loads from the bottom, we take it out the bottom. We completely change the running gear in this car, okay? So in our testing, we found out what breaks, what doesn't. There's a lot of content in this car. So from the engine, we completely tear it down. We machine the crankshaft, we put new rods and pistons, we port the cylinder heads, we port the exhaust manifolds on the street version, we put headers on the SC version, but we completely tear this thing down, okay? We change the clutch, we change the transmission, we change the drive shaft, big nine inch rear end, so it takes all the durability that you can dish out with this car. So it's engineered right from the beginning to live at this power level. Okay? Happy to answer any questions you guys have after the press conference on this. But with that, we'll continue on. So custom fiberglass hood, you can see a carbon fiber splitter, you got some brake ducts up underneath. Custom Ford's three-piece wheels, Shelby 1000 branding on them. Um, six piston wheel wind brakes in the front, four piston in the back. Okay. Well, Shelby 1000 is probably the lifelong dream of Carroll Shelby to produce the highest production horsepower vehicle on the planet. Uh, all the press early on are comparing it to the Bugatti uh, in horsepower. Uh, fact is, Bugatti at 2 million, Shelby 1000 probably around 200,000 and change. Quite a delta in the price. A lot of horsepower for the money. 